Welcome back. This is level 8, the PTMC Dolomod Fuel Refinery. And our main objective here is to infiltrate the fuel refinery and create a diversion that will destroy the entire facility. So that the Red Acropolis team will have time to uh, create an antivirus out of the virus sample that we picked up in the previous level. And here, as you can see, I switched back to the Pyro GL for this mission. And we picked up a new countermeasure weapon called the Chaff Pack. Now what that does, it will actually uh, distract homing missiles. Well, not just the homing missile, the weapon, but also uh, other missiles that will lock on to you. And here we have a Manta, brand new enemy in this, uh, in this game. Yeah, they'll basically run right by you and shoot the weapon when they see you in sight, uh, when they have you in sight, sorry. Sounded a little bit redundant right there. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate the trap pack right here on this guy. Yeah, this tracker right here is armed with mega missiles. And let me go ahead and use a trap pack on him right now. Um, if he's even focused on me. There we go. Up, oh, this one still focused on me. Oh, it's gone right by me. So yeah, he's firing mega missiles at me, and you should focus on the trap pack right here. That this is meant to attract homing missiles, so that they get hit instead of me. Anyway, yeah, I think you've seen enough. And there's a tracker in the distance shooting his weapon at me. Shooting the math driver at me. Um, whoa! That was a bit close. There we go. Oh! And I just killed the Orbot that was piloting that tracker. <laughs> anyway. Um, I'm not gonna bother exploring. Um, this is a big level. It took me over a half an hour to finish this level during my practice run, so... I'm not gonna waste a lot of time looking around and shit. I'm just gonna... Go straight to the, uh... Go straight through. Anyway, there are three buildings scattered in this area, but they are all currently locked. And they all... Hold a, uh... They each hold a, a heat sink that we need to destroy in order to cause a meltdown that will destroy the entire refinery. And the only place you can go to now is through the smokestacks. And I hear some, uh, old scratch. What the? You can still hit me through the door? You're fucking shitting me. Let me in! Oh, new weapon! Math drivers! Yeah! Now this is where the fun begins. And the old scratcher stuck in the smokestack. So yeah, we got the mass driver here, basic sniper weapon. Hold down uh, primary fire to zoom in. Release to fire your shot. Let's go this way. Um... I'm not going to bother fighting anyone, I'm just going to go right through. And if anyone gets in my way, I'll destroy them. Like that gyro. Who dropped some shield and napalm fuel for me, thank you very much. Um... Oh! Something I want to point out about this level. The level's called the... Uh, the Dolomod Fuel Refinery, and Dolomod is the name of a Greek heavy metal band. And here we have the Thresher for the first time, armed with the fusion cannons, as you can see. Hi, Tubbs. Hi, Sparky. Ow! That hurts. Pratt. Anyway. 
Um. Ouch. So yeah, there is a heavy metal band called uh, Dolomod. Now you're probably thinking that uh, the level in this game, the Dolomod Fuel Refinery, this level got its name after the heavy metal band. Well, actually, it's the other way around. It's the band that got their name from this particular level. Which I think is really, really interesting. And, um... Yeah, I went ahead and checked out a couple of their songs, and, um, they're not bad. And we have a new robot here called the Spy Hunter, who's trying to do a kamikaze attack on me. Much like the Omega Defense Spawn from the previous game. Yeah, these guys have two ways of attacking. This is one of them, the kamikaze attack. The other one is that they shoot at you with their microwave cannon. Yeah, sometimes these guys do heavy damage when they ram into you. Sometimes they don't. Luckily, that guy didn't do much damage to me. And the funny thing is, we don't get a briefing on the spy hunter until the next level. Alright. Um, what do we have here? I hear Sparky. Hi, Sparky. How are you? Um, let's go ahead and flip the switch to activate the thermal regulators and reveal, uh, or expose the, um, the heat sink. Um, okay, I was stuck in the door for a second. But anyway, let's go in here and get ourselves a new weapon called the EMD Launcher. Uh, these are the same weapons that the Manta was using earlier. Um, yeah, shoots these projectiles that don't do that much damage, but they lock on to enemies. So, it is useful in some way. Um, oh, by the way, destroying all three of those uh, nodes earlier turns off that flamethrower, that giant flamethrower that was circling around. Uh, door, there we are. Let's make our way back outside. We. <laughs> I know, the, I know the old scratch is still down there, but I'm not gonna bother fighting them. Uh, let's make our way over here and destroy the heat sink. Oh, you know how in the last video I was talking about uh, Leonard Nimoy passing away? Well, I've heard that William Shatner couldn't attend, uh, couldn't uh, go to his funeral. Just like how he couldn't go to Gene Roddenberry's funeral. What the hell is wrong with you, William Shatner? And we have a new enemy here called the Tailbot, armed with EMD launchers. And they drop concussion missiles. Now, you're probably wondering, why do they drop concussion missiles even though they aren't armed with them? Well, you'll see later. Oh, there you are. So yeah, William Shatner couldn't go to Leonard Nimoy's funeral. What the hell is up with that guy? Well, I've got one thing to say to you, Mr. Shatner, and I know it's been used in Family Guy and uh, The Big Bang Theory, and I know the Nostalgia Critic said it, and now I'm going to say it. Mr. Shatner, live long and suck it. Yeah. I couldn't resist saying that. Uh, flip that switch and destroy the outer heat sink. One down, two to go. Oh yeah, I am still quite sad that uh, Leonard Nimoy is gone. And I am actually interested in watching all the Star Trek movies. Even the, even the odd-numbered movies. And I know a lot of people are saying that the odd-numbered Star Trek movies suck, but... Hey, damn it. I love Star Trek. Alright? 
I don't care if the odd numbered movies suck or not. I'm still gonna watch them. I still want to watch them anyway. Um Yeah. Like I said before, I haven't seen any of the original Star Trek movies except for uh Star Trek 4. I have seen Star Trek Generation, which wasn't that bad. I mean, hey, it had Malcolm McDowell in it. He's a really kick-ass actor. Um, I have seen Star Trek First Contact. Holy crap, that was a great movie. I love First Contact. And then... Um, I have seen Star Trek Insurrection. And that was quite a... Quite a bad movie. Um... Yeah, I can see why Linkara hates Star Trek Insurrection. And I have seen Nemesis, and... yeah. I say that Nemesis... I actually found... Uh, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. I actually find Star Trek Nemesis boring. Yeah. I just couldn't follow the movie, and, uh... I almost fell asleep when I saw it in theaters. But yeah, Star Trek Nemesis is boring. Oh, and I should point out that, um... Um, you should go for the inner heat sink last, and I will explain to you why in a moment. Right now, let's take care of all the robots in here. Uh, Tailbot. Come out and play! There we go. Now, as soon as you pass this point right here, this door will close, and you won't be able to open it back up again. And if you go here before you destroy the other two heat sinks, then you're screwed. You're gonna have to restart the level. And there are secrets behind these fans, but there's nothing behind any of them. So yeah, basically you gotta destroy all the heat sinks in the same order I just did. And once you do that, the door will unlock so that we can go through. Now it is time for us to make our escape. And this is the only way we can go. But yeah, make sure you destroy the third heat sink last. Um, I don't think it matters whether you destroy the first heat sink, then the second heat sink, or not, but, um... The point is... Do not go for the... for the third heat sink first. Save that for last. And here we have a secret area. Um... Hi, Orbot. And we got a cloaking device, which means I gotta turn my headlights off now. Because if I'm cloaked and I have my headlight turned on, the robots can see me! Yeah, that's another... Uh, that is a particular problem in Descent too, as well. You being cloaked and having the headlights on, with other robots being able to see you. And we have more fans and more old scratch. There are some more old scratch here, so I gotta watch my back. And we got the... F uh, we have our final countermeasure weapon, called the Bouncing Betties. And what they do is, uh, you, you deploy them and they'll bounce around the room until they explode. Alright, I'm gonna use an impact mortar to take care of the old scratch here. Come at me! Oh, I got one of them. Uh, anything here? Oh, just shield. Okay. Yeah, it's coming or what? Answer me! 
I am talking to you guys. Fine, fuck it. I'll come after you myself. Ow. Okay. Uh, there were only two of them left, so that wasn't that wasn't so bad. Oh, hello. What do we have here? It's a data cartridge. I'm gonna pick it up and see what we got. The cartridge is in pretty bad shape, but your guide bot manages to extract a chunk of data that may be useful. The data refers to an SRAD weapons plant that isn't on any of the usual PTMC nav charts. Definitely could be worth a visit later. And that is some place we will be going to after this level. Yep, this is how we get to the secret levels in Descent 3, ladies and gentlemen. By finding data cartridges. Yep, each of the Descent games have their own ways of uh, getting to secret levels. In Descent 1, we find alternate exit. In Descent 2, we find teleporters. And here in Descent 3, we find data cartridges. Oh, this part. I hate this part. Uh, let me take care of the Orbot spawning from the Materializer really quickly. Yeah, there are only two secret levels in Descent 3. We won't get to the second secret level until much later on in the game. And that's it. Oh boy, this part. Uh, let me bring out the EMD and shoot it. Yeah, see it shooting down like that? That's because there's a giant fan down there that is sucking everything down. And if I go forward, I'll get sucked down into the fan and die. But there's a switch right here. And when I shoot at it, Guybot says, cooling intake fan reversed. So that'll revert the direction of the fan, and I think a robot just got destroyed by it. <laughs> um, let's go ahead and keep shooting. Yeah, the fan's still not, uh, still sucking, or still spinning downward. So we're going to wait for a little bit. Yeah, best way to check whether the fan's spinning up or down is by shooting the EMD gun forward. And it's still, still spinning downward. Okay, let me try that again. Yeah, there is a weird little glitch here. I think, the, oh, and I think the fan reversed. Yep, I saw the energy fly up here. And now we're stuck up here. So now we have to wait for, uh... Yeah, we're stuck up here without any way of getting down. Okay, that was weird. I've never seen that before. But yeah, let's go ahead and uh, destroy this thing. So that whatever the heck this is will slowly make its way down to the fan and destroy it. And this is going to take a while, so I'm going to have to... Uh, I'm going to have to edit this part out. Yes, I know my weapons have no effect. Anyway, uh, see you guys in a second. And there we go. So that fan is destroyed, so we can continue on. But let's see what we have here first. We've got some shield, and I accidentally bumped into the force field. And the vulnerability, and that time I did it on purpose. Uh, <laughs> anyway, let's continue on. We got some more bots and stingers. Oh my god! Show some respect for my personal space, you a-holes! Yeah, I'm going to use the uh, napalm rocket there. Set the stinger on fire! And the napalm now blocking my path. Okay, it's gone now. Oh, totally gone. There we go. And I know, there are quite a few places to explore, but I'm not going to waste any time looking through them because this is quite a big level, and I just want to go through this as quickly as possible. Alright. 
Oh no. Now gonna set me on fire. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> okay, is it me or did I sound like Concord Condor right there? Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> oh man. Tiny tunes for the win. Anyway, um this way. What else can I talk about here? I honestly don't know what else to talk about. You know what? Um, I'm gonna use my math driver and my impact mortar. Have some fun with these weapons. No, I'm not exactly sure if the math driver has the, uh, Penetrating ammo like the uh, the Machina from TF2 does. In fact, I'm trying to uh, pet that right now, whether or not it does. Oh, there is something I can talk about. Um, tomorrow's Sunday, yay! And um, I'm going back to the bowling alley to play another game. Okay, uh, 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 Damn it. Damn it! Okay, the math driver doesn't have, uh, the capability of penetrating through multiple enemies. Um, oh! And the plasma cannon I picked up wasn't the same one that I lost. But anyway, yeah, I bowled a terrific game last week. I bowled a 194 with five strikes in a row. How awesome is that? That's the highest score I've ever, I've ever gotten in a bowling game. And uh, yeah, my average last week was uh, 119. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be like a 120 or 121 this week. And people kept saying that I'll soon bowl my first 200 game. Well, based on how well I bowled last week, I have a feeling that tomorrow night will be the night I will bowl my first 200 game. But I should keep my hopes up. I don't want to jinx myself. Yeah, I'm not going to let that bullshit get in the way. So yeah, I am actually looking forward to, uh, to going bowling tomorrow night. Hi, Steve! How you doing? Where are you going? Oh. Wow, that was fast. That was a lot easier than in Descent 2 when I attacked a thief. Uh, Materializer. High Sparky. High Stinger. Oh my god! Let me through! Okay, he decided to fuck off. But anyway, let's go on through here. Fight out some more robots. What the hell? Stinger on fire? Oh, there's a fire trooper here. Okay. And a power up for the guide bot. Um, guide bot, go ahead and pick up your uh, little power up thing over there. Guardian power up. Up, oh, Barky's having a malfunction. Uh, we'll go this way in a second. Right now, I want to go that way to take care of the a-hole firing missiles at me. Up, uh, ah! Don't people say excuse me anymore? Well, they are a robot that likes to invade my personal space, so... What should I expect? 
Yeah, I did say that I didn't want to waste any time exploring, but I want to go this way because there is one thing in particular that I want to pick up. And you will see what that is in a minute. I don't want to fight anybody. Unless anyone get in my way, like Sting or a Tailbot here. There we go. Yeah, you can see the steam and the uh, flame shooting out. That's from the uh, temperature rising dramatically after all the heat sinks have been destroyed. What are you hiding in there for? Get out of there! Or, or die. Either way works. Um. Oh. <laughs> that was weird. Oh no! You stay the heck away from me. Um, can I get some energy? Ah, goody. Thank you. What do we have up here? <gasps> Mega Missile! Yeah! <laughs> I can't wait to have fun with it, baby. Save it for later. Hi, Tailbot. How you doing? Alright, let's go over here now. There is one more thing that I want to pick up. It is another brand new weapon. A weapon that I've been wanting to get since I started this level. It's in here. And it is the Fusion Cannon! Yeah! Just like in the previous games. Hold down primary fire to charge it up. Don't overcharge it or you'll damage your ship. Yeah, this is pretty much like the Descent 2 version, the, uh, the nerfed Fusion Cannon. But it has been slightly buffed, I guess. There we go. Oh, by the way, I should point out that I'm using the, the control key to uh, charge up my shot. When I use the mouse button... Yeah, I was holding down the, mu uh, the mouse button the entire time. That first shot should not have happened. But oh well. I got what I I got what I came for, so let's head on back to the uh, other area. Not gonna bother fighting anyone. Oh, and I just set myself on fire. And there's another mega missile that I never noticed was there before. Um. Here we are. Gun boy. And another gun boy. Oh. There we go. Uh, let's see what we should do here. Hi, Gyro. Oh, two of them. Huh. Trying to team up on me, eh? Not today. Oh, hi, Stinger. Wow, that was close. That was a that was a frag container right there, and I somehow went right inside the ring of sparks. Anyway. Mayday, Mayday! Medical frigate Nightingale to docking control. We have a major malfunction at docking clamp two. Requesting immediate assistance. Okay. Frigate. Medical frigate Nightingale to hangar control. Requesting clearance for dock uh, do docking clamp release. Repeat, docking clamp 2 is still locked. Need assistance for immediate departure. Ah, sorry. My tongue got twisted there for a second. Um... Negative. It's not responding. I repeat, docking clamp 2 is not responding. We're trapped here, and I've got 13 passengers on board. You'll have to find an emergency docking clamp release mechanism or something. Fast! Okay. I'll flip that switch to, uh, lower the elevator so that we can exit. And here's another power-up for you, Guidebot. And he went inside the elevator for a second. Oh! <laughs> Sorry, Guidebot! You ran right in front of me. What the hell? Okay, first the Guidebot, now Sparky. Can I go through the elevator? No, I can't. Uh, 
Alright, um, not much else I can do here. So yeah, here's the medical frigate locked inside this uh, clamp. And there's a switch right here. Let's go ahead and shoot it. Hey, it worked! Yay! You PCMC pilots always amaze me. Thanks again, buddy. I'm getting the hell out of here. Alright. Up, oh, incoming data transmission. Frigate. Thanks for getting this clamp open. No time to chat now. This place doesn't feel too stable. No, it does not. Let's get the hell out of here. And we don't have to fight off the turret, but I'm going to anyway, just for the heck of it. And there are stingers outside as well. Where are you? Where are you? Oh, you're down here. How would you get down here? Okay, now you just cheat me. There we go. Alright, let's go ahead and end this level. I bet that previous captain's counting his lucky stars about now. Temperature readings are further. We've got the coordinates on the weapons plant mentioned in the data card that you found. I think we should check it out. And that was the PTMC Dolomod Fuel Refinery. Man, we got a lot done in, uh, in just a half an hour. But we are all done with that fun level. And now, it's time for the first of the two secret levels of Descent 3. You destroyed the station on Europa and bought us enough time for a scientist to complete the antivirus. On top of that, you also rescued the medical frigate. Good job! Chapter S1, Secret Area 1. The data cartridge that you picked up contains the location of a secret area that might be worth checking out. We have no information on this location. Keep your eyes open. Alright. And I think for this mission, I'm going to use the Phoenix Interceptor. So, we are off to Origin Zero. And we don't get an introduction cutscene of this level. I'm going to go ahead and save my game right here. And I will see you guys next time as we go through the first of the two secret levels of Descent 3. See you later!